This is an imported beer from Germany. It's from the Polaner Brewery. It's called Salvatore. It's a Doppelbach style of beer, which literally translates in English to double ram. This is a heavy hitter. It has 7.9% alcohol volume. This thing will put some hair on your chest. Let me show you. Pull your shirt down. Nobody wants to see your chest hair. Okay. This is made by the traditional German brewing process called Reinheitsgebot. Only four ingredients allowed. Water, hops, barley, and malt, and yeast. This is very, very heavily malted and only lightly hopped. It's going to be very malt-forward brew. It's very dark in color. Let's see what it is. It's a dark copper color, slightly off brown head, almost white and brown mixed together, kind of in between a lager and a stout or a dark ale. See how it smells. Very little, if any, hop aroma profile on there. All you smell is that deep, deep malt aroma. This is heavily malted because it needs to have the extra malt for the make the extra alcohol anyway, but also for the flavor, it's going to need the extra malt in there extra malt to add to the profile at the end after brewing okay let's see what it is tastes like a dark lager but to like a extra level but a second extra level right below something like a stout like very borderline the richness of a stout, but the color and the smell of a light lager, because there is very little hop in this. You don't smell much hop. You don't taste much hop. All you taste is that full malt forward flavor. And despite being heavier in alcohol than the average beer, it's very easy to drink, very easy to go along with. It's not very heavy. It's not very punch in the face. It's still very good flavor, but not overwhelming it is a really good beer they also make regular box as opposed to doppel box double box which is less stronger but still stronger than average lager but this is supposed to be the the stronger of them all and even though it's the strongest of them all it's still very easy to go on with this is this is something you could either sip on, enjoy, or something you could like down, you know, like barbecuing or cutting the yard or something, cutting the grass. It's, even though it's dark in color, even though it's rich in flavor and high in alcohol, it's still pretty, pretty easy to get, you know, along with. And you can do like a nice summer activity, you know, like cutting your grass or being outside. It's not something that's going to make you, you know, get sick of it. It's something you could drink all day and not be tired of and not get, you know, too overwhelmed with. This summer, if you think about trying something different, try this. It's not entirely what I think of when I think of summer beer, but it's still pretty good. I think it's something, a good alternative to the light, light lagers and pilsners that have no flavor, just easy to drink, but still is easy to drink, but it's packed some flavor. So you actually get some flavor with your drink and still, you know, have a feel of them without feeling in the morning. Try it if you, if you can find it. I like it. I think you'll like it too.